all right, Bloober team, th this is your shot. You got to get this right, guys. All the other games, whatever. Seven out of tens, that's fine. This, you better not screw this one up. You can't, please. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another reaction video for another first reviews video. What, whatever. Anyway, it's 3 o'clock, almost 3.30. I actually gave this extra time, even though, like, I could have just probably did this right when the reviews came out. But I was like, you know what, I'm going to give it some time. Uh, this is the first reviews for Silent Hill 2 Remake. The review embargo went up about 30 minutes ago. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so I am freaking ready. Now, I'm going to tell you right here, uh, while waiting, I was actually watching a video that was a, not a review, but it was an impressions video for Silent Hill 2. It was from Easy Ally, shout out. And they are very positive about it. I would like to bring up, I would like to say, because there's a lot of people shitting on this, if this ends up being good, which... We'll, we'll see. We'll see what the reviews look, at least. Um, I was a defender of it for a very long time. I don't care. All right. I even wore, look, I wore my son so little two shirt. Um, was I a little worried here and there? Sure. But I was never like, no, dude, it's great. It's going to be bad. It's going to be bad. Never was. So I'm going to put my foot down there, right here, right now. And all the people that were crapping on it, I know who you are. All right. And I got names. <laughs> I won't do anything. I won't ever do anything. But I got your name. Anyway, and I will <laughs> spit on it later. Anyway, no, not like the Hawk Tua girl. I didn't, that's not what I'm in. Anyway, so let's get to it. Let's check this out. Um, I don't even know what to predict, honestly, when it comes to the score. I don't know. Watch, it's going to be like a, like a 40. I'm going to be like, all right, never mind. I don't have anybody's names. <laughs> Y'all were right. Never mind. Um, <laughs> Easy Allies is the only one that was positive about it. Um, and Famitsu. Those are the only two. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to guess... I really don't know. Uh, anything higher than a 75, I will be happy with. As long as it's not a disaster. Shit, I'll even be like reluctantly happy with like a like a 70 or even like a high 60. Just knowing that it's just fine and they didn't turn into a 2 out of 10. You know, it's not as bad as like Book of Memories or something. You know? Anyway, so let... Or Homecoming or something. Even though Homecoming actually didn't get terrible reviews at the time. So, I am super excited for this. I'm gonna my my hope is obviously as high as possible, but my hope is that at my hope would be like a ninety something. But I'm gonna guess I'm gonna say eighty. I'll take it at that point. Let's let's find out. Let's go. Um, let's find, let's find out, shall we? Let's go. I'm really nervous about this one, guys. All right, at three minutes in the recording, we will check. All right, ready? All right, here we go. Metacritic first, and then we'll go open critic. Right. What the fuck is it? Okay, what? <laughs> Where is it? Look, oh, look back. I forgot about that. Oh, that comes out today. Shit, I forgot about that. Uh, What the hell? All right, you know, screw it. Let's go to Open Critic. I like Open Critic more. <laughs> anyway, all right. So, strike that. We'll go to Mad Critic later because I'm going to have to search it up. So, let's do Open Critic. I want a nice reveal first. Okay, here we go. Uh, okay, look, I even have the Silent Hill 2 reviews one. I've been looking, I'm not gonna lie, I've been looking for the last, like, week to see if any, like, sneaky ones have popped up. So, which, by the way, one did, like, earlier today, and it was not great, but it seemed a little fishy, let's just say. Anyway, let's get to it. Please be good. <laughs> Please. They didn't fuck it up! Let's go! Yes! Oh my god! You did good, Booba team! Good job! <laughs> oh my- It's better than Zelda! It's better than Zelda! Nintendo wishes they made games like this! What's up? Dumbass! And you you were original too, and you got a female protagonist. You know that that gives you like at least another ten points on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh man. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll criticize it, but uh, not that much because it has a woman in it. Anyway, so <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, let's, let's check this. Let's check this out. That is way higher than I was expecting. I and I don't even know what I was expecting really. <laughs> Eighty six. <sighs> All those years, 
Two years of worrying. I say all those years. It's just been two. All right, let's let's read them. <laughs> let's read them. <laughs> all right. Oh, okay. I just got excited. Anyway, let's uh, check this out. IGN gave it a out of ten. All right, we don't need to read theirs. Uh, <laughs> all right, no, we'll read them. Uh, no, you know, let's go to Metacritic first. Let's go to Metacritic. All right. No, all right, it's still gone. All right, it's still not there. Uh, Silent Hill 2. I'm sure it's here. They just haven't posted it here. It's even higher on Metacritic. Let's freaking go. Oh, it has more reviews, too. This has what? 20. Oh, oh this one has high. Dude, it has 87 on here. Dude, it's even. It's going to be 100 eventually. <laughs> Dude, 87. That's so much. Oh, Halloween Week 2. Um, that's so much higher than I was expecting. Dude. Oh my god, I, I, I swear, I feel like a pressure has been l taken off my chest. No, I wasn't having a heart attack. Um, this, this, I really was worried about this. A couple mixed reviews. Okay, we won't read those. Uh, look at these 10s! Look at the 10s! I would have never thought a Bloober game would get fucking 10. Oh, wow. Look at these 9s! Look at these nines! GameSpot gave it a nine. Gaming Trend nine. Games, whatever the hell that is, nine, eight, eight point five, eight point eight, 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 eight. I'm not gonna lie. Watching that freaking uh, Easy Allies video was was making me go, okay, this is probably gonna get really good reviews. Um, at least decent uh, enough reviews. Like at least like around here, like an eight or a seven point five. Oh man. Okay. Games Radar Plus. Oh, oh no, nah, we're not reading those. <laughs> All right, I need to know. I'm assuming they nail the story. That that is the one thing I was really worried about because they could fuck that up, and it looks like they're nailing it, bro. All right, let's see. I, I need to read some of these tens. I just don't. IG in Japan loved it. That's where Silent Hill came from. I don't know if you knew that. Anyway, this remake pays the utmost respect to the original. Successfully brings a classic story that depicts human weakness into the modern era. There you go. That's all you had to say, baby. It successfully brings a classic. All right. It also brings back the fun of classic survival horror where nerve-wracking, over-the-shoulder combat system. It is a masterpiece that should serve, serve as a benchmark for future installments in the Silent Hill series. Dude. I didn't even think about that, bro. I wasn't even thinking about it. I was just worried that they'd fuck up Silent Hill 2. I didn't think about We have a new Silent Hill game. It's been 20 years since we've had a positively received Silent Hill game. That is fucking nuts. Because Homecoming wasn't. Downpour wasn't. Book of Memories wasn't. Silent Hill Ascension definitely wasn't. It wasn't even a fucking game. Um, shortcoming. Shortcoming. <laughs> Short message, shortcoming. <laughs> Short message wasn't the last one was Silent Hill Four. Oh, Shattered Memories, Shattered Memories. That was fifteen years ago. So fi it's been fifteen years. Shattered Memories was positively received. Actually, I'm gonna see how positively received. Let's see. I just want to say one, one second. We'll, we'll get back to it. Shattered. I love Shattered Memories. Seventy nine. Okay, that should be a little higher. I mean, I, I get it. the gameplay itself is not great. Silent Hill Two only has an eighty nine. What the fuck? Silent Hill 3 has an 85? Silent Hill 3 is fucking great. Hey, that's a great game, too. Oh, make a collection. Dude, even after this, you gotta make a collection. Please. Oh, for the love of fuck, please make a collection. <laughs> this getting this positive receipt, there's no way they, they're not gonna do well with this. They might as well do a collection. Bro, Konami is the kings of con collection games for, for series that they don't make games uh, for anymore. So... But they're making Silent Hill games again, so there you go. Anyway, the Castlevania Contra. <laughs> I guess they made a new Contra actually recently. Castlevania, they haven't made a new game yet. Uh, what was the other ones? Uh, Metal Gear, of course. Uh, not Silent Hill. I feel like there's another one I'm missing. <sighs> I, I, I really do. I, I'm like relieved. I, there's been a fucking like. I, I've been so worried. I'm, I'm so relieved. All right. Anyway, the guys were never racking over the shoulder combat. All right, right. Uh, honoring the legacy of what is considered by many to be one of the greatest games in history, Bloober Team delivers its best project to date. Not even, not even close. <laughs> not even close to like, like when, when it comes to like anything else topping this, it seems like. Because I think their highest review game before that was like Observer, which I've heard is really good. Actually, I do want to play it because it has, especially because it has Rucker Hauer. I assure you, people are going to go, if this game is loved by everybody, this remake, people are going to go back to some of their older games and go, you know what, they're kind of cooking with this one. You know, like the medium, I feel like people are going to go back and go like, you know what, this is not that bad, actually. I haven't shit it on before, but I see what they're trying. 
I don't know. I haven't played the medium. <laughs> it might just suck. Uh, I have a feeling, though, Observer will be the one like, yeah, they were fucking cooking with this. Uh, Compromise is that sounds all right. The game has a, a, an, an impeccable sound design that makes use of the 3D audio. Don't say that, bro. I don't want to be scared. <sighs> Immersive dual sense effects, yeah. Uh, lots of details and a narrative experience that has always been exciting and psychologically heavy becomes even more intense, deep, and terrifying. We mean even more. Dude, I don't even want to think about what the historical society is going to be in this game. Oh, that is one of the scariest areas in any game ever. The historical society is fucked up. Oh, it's so it's terrifying. It's terrifying. I don't want. I don't. I don't want it, dude. I watch playthroughs for that game now because I'm just like fuck that. I'm not playing Silent Hill two again. Uh, <laughs> I'm just not gonna do it. It's too terrifying. If I had if I had friends, I'd play it a lot more. Yeah. You know. I saw someone made a tweet, like, uh, I think it was like a Fiverr post or something. Like, I'll give you 15 bucks if you just sit next to me while I play Silent Hill 2, so I'm not scared. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's a good one. Um, all right. Voxel, packed with homages to the original Silent Hill 2 remake, faithfully modernizes the ga gameplay of a classic for new audiences while still delivering enough surprises to justify its existence. It's a love letter to longtime fans and the definitive version of newcomers, for newcomers. Is this so funny that this justifies its existence? I cannot speak right now. It's 3 fucking 30 a.m. Um, it justifies its existence more so than Joker 2 does. Uh, anyway, against the odds, Bloober Team had... Or Until Dawn, I should I should compare it to that because that came out today. Where's the reviews for that? I'm going to look to see if they're anywhere. Anyway, Bloober Team has delivered a remake that both expands Silent Hill 2 in just the right places and gives careful attention to what it preserves. Okay. Blue Routine's remake of Silent Hill 2 manages to modernize the masterpiece while staying true to its psychological and oppressive legacy. Yeah, oppressive is fucking right. A timeless work of art carefully revisited. Um, Who's going to craft a silent that respects the original while delivering a fresh, terrifying experience? Stop saying it's terrifying, bro. Say it's funny. <laughs> Which they made Silent Hill funny. Well, they did. It was called Silent Hill uh, Revelation. Pop Tart Jump Scare. Who the fuck thought that was a good idea? Yeah, you know what Silent Hill's missing? Pop Tart Jump Scare. Watch Silent Hill Revelation. It's the fucking stupidest, stupidest movie of all time. I'm I'm not gonna lie, it's really funny. Like I said, so I kind of enjoy it. Anyway, the original Silent Hill 2, they also turned Vincent into like the heartthrob. Well, I'm like, no, you, tell me you never played Silent Hill three. God damn. All right. Anyway, the original time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Vincent the Heartthrob. Yeah, okay. The original Silent Hill 2 is one of the most beloved, culturally significant. This is GameSpot, man. And overall best horror games ever made. It appeared to be the case that trying to recapture the magic of that game was to misjudge how impactful its time and place were and how its limitations helped shape it for the better. Any studio advancing on such a project should have had a... And a Sisyphus, right? Sisyphus. I can't say that, but task ahead of time, uh, ahead of them. You know, b the boulder. I get it, but I can't Sisyphian. Sisy I can't say that word. It's uh, almost actually. It's almost four o'clock in the morning now. Uh, forever chasing its uh, essence like a moth with a hole in your. All right, just get to the fucking point. However, by staying true to the original game in extreme, extremely important ways and taking calculated risks, born from an understanding of the source material, born from a wish, is born from a wish in the game. I actually, I would like to know. All while being supported further by some of the game's original brain trust. Blue Team, yeah, of course. Uh, uh, has done what was reasonably considered near impossible. The remake of Silent Hill 2 is a restless dream come true. That's, oh man. It feels good that I was defending this for so long. You know, you, 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 it feels right to be justified in uh, defending it. Even the gameplay from earlier this year, I was just like, yeah, we'll see. I mean, it looks a little rough, but uh, who knows? It could be good. I don't think it'll get bad. Everybody else was like, it fucking looks terrible. It's the worst thing. Oh, they're gonna, it's going to be a 2 out of 10. It's going to suck my balls. And maybe it still will. I Again, I, I don't take these reviews to mean it will be amazing to me. I just take it as a strong indication that it probably will. Because um, I know a lot of people like, gaming journalists are all stupid. But the ones you trust are the ones you trust for a reason, I assume. Hey, easy allies, I trust. Because I know they're actual gamers, and they they like uh, like Michael Huber at Easy Allies. He plays all his games on the hardest difficulty. He'll he'll live stream it too. He's a good gamer. So when he says uh, yes, I hope uh, to remake is a nine out of ten. That's what they said in the video so far that I watched. Um, I believe him. So 
A strong remake that conveys the bizarre atmosphere of the original, introduces harmonious new features, and only has minor weaknesses. That's fine. Uh, I bet the camera is probably one of them. It seems like every time I watch gameplay, the camera is the one thing that's kind of holding it back. Uh, Silent Hill 2 is a... Oh, here's IGN. Silent Hill 2 is a great way to revisit... Uh, visit or revisit one of the most dread-inducing destiny destinations in the history of survival horror. You're goddamn right. Sports Illustrated even liked it. Wow. It might not have you sold in the first few hours, but stick it out until Brookhaven Hospital, okay? And you're in for a white knuckle ride straight into hell, okay? I I love that. That's the same thing about Silent Hill 2. It... It starts off, I mean, it's spooky in the first few hours, but it doesn't really fuck you up until the hospital. Yeah, I'd say probably until the hospital. I'm not looking forward to it because it's going to terrify me. God, I wish I had friends. Anyway, because then I'll be like, yeah, we're good. We're going to play this whole fucking game right here, maybe. <laughs> Let's go. Much like James Sunderland, we have returned to Silent Hill, but what was once our special place has changed. Thankfully, enough of what made it special remains and will likely warm the co cockle. I just said cookies. Cockles. I got hungry. Uh, cockles of nostalgic fan hearts and newcomers alike, even if you'll have to look past some of the garish new additions in the process. I wonder what those are. I heard there's a lot more exploration in this one, too. Uh... Like, uh, areas that were, like, you know, pretty big, uh, in the beginning, you know, like Lakeview ho Hotel and stuff have become even bigger, so, which is cool, I love exploration games, so, especially horror games, that's, like, some of the best stuff. Anyway, uh, let's read this 6 out of 10. As a regular representative of the genre, the new Silent Hill 2 is quite good, what the fuck, and should deliver tons of, or lots of fun to gamers that like this kind of games. But as a remake of one of the most important horror games in history, this new version looks extremely mediocre, which in my eyes is a greater crime than making a simply bad game. I don't know. If they made this one bad, I think that would be worse, honestly. Because <laughs> making it mediocre, sure, it's... it's I, I can see what they mean. Like, it just becomes, like, forgettable. Like, if it was so bad, it's like... You know, like, um... Uh, uh, like the 13 remake. That one I will always remember. I won't remember the newer version of that remake because it just ends up being like a six out of ten. But I always remember when it first came out because I, I played thirteen when it first came out. And I'm, I'm, if you don't know what thirteen is, look it up. Um, great game, cel shaded graphics, Ubisoft game, really great. Dave Duchovny's in it, Adam West. It, it has a cel shaded look. It, it very comic booky because it is based on a comic book. Um, great game had an awesome multiplayer. They did a remake, got rid of the cel shading almost entirely. Uh, it was buggy, shitty, uh, there's so many glitches, it, the game was broken, there was no, uh, online multiplayer, I don't even think there was regular multiplayer, I think there might have been, yeah, I think there was, like, same screen multiplayer, but no, nothing else, and it was, like, only, I think only two players, maybe, it was, it was dog shit, it was awful, but I always remember, because it was so bad, you know, now it's just kind of, like, they updated it now, they kind of added a little bit of cell shading, and it's a little bit better, but it's just, like, barely a five or a six maybe maybe a six um so yeah just play the original pretty much uh let's see what these uh it's an interesting time to revisit silent Hill 2 considering the, uh, the original has been an abandoned wear stay for years now uh i guess you yeah i guess that's true uh, well you can play the shitty hd collection that works on xbox one and, P and series x and the only remake yeah, okay here isn't great in the uh, uh you don't like the comic sans come on you don't like Laura Bailey? Come on. What the fuck's wrong with you? Doesn't she, doesn't she voice Angela? Anyway. In the official sense, uh, I think she does. Or did she voice Mary and Maria? I mean, a great voice actor. Troy Baker obviously does James Sunderland, which, I mean, is, is I mean, a great actor. Don't get me wrong, but, like, that's not... <laughs> I don't think that's what anybody want, wants, really. The remake is the current retelling of the story. It's a faithful in, in, interpretation of the events that transpired, capturing most of the big and small story modes while fleshing out some details in between. We're considering the legacy of the original game over the past 23 years. However, it's hard to imagine Silent Hill 2 Remake will be able to replicate that as well for fans to spend decades discussing its new endings. Oh, there's new endings? I didn't know that. In narrative editions with contrarian analysis. At the very least, it'll make for another figment to theorize about okay that doesn't i mean that's not a review to be fair that's a first impression so far so that's that, that does not come off as a review anyway let, let's get back to this um because this is a uh, important so right here baby uh wait, let me refresh actually oh where's it and you know what let's, let's look at it until dawn it has to be here right uh, uh recently right because that came out today oh kill night yeah i need to play that I might give that a whirl while I'm waiting for. Really? 
Is this the new one? No? This is the old one? Okay. All right, well, let's go here. All right, I, I just really want to see. Actually, let's see uh, the PC version of this. No, there's only five reviews. Oh, VG! I, 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 that, that's another ten, right? That's not. That's new, right? That's a new ten. There's another one. <laughs> yeah, let's read that one. Oh, boy! Ultimately, those who are familiar with the original Silent Hill 2 will consti constantly be surprised by this remake, and those who aren't as familiar are geared up for a great, I'll bet, heart-wrenching time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're goddamn right. All the pivotal moments remain, but veterans will find that they're in different orders or brand new uh, rooms now. I, I can't say I'm like a veteran because, again, I've only played the game once myself. <sighs> I I may have played it twice. I don't know. I think just one. I know I definitely played it like I've started over a few times in the past, but I don't think I've ever finished it. It's just too... I, I'm a pussy. Like, just straight up. If I had more friends, I'm not even kidding. I don't. I don't. I don't. But if I did growing up too, um, I would be playing this game a lot more. Uh, that being said, I did play Silent Hill 2 with a friend back then. But uh, I didn't own Silent Hill 2 at the time. I did eventually. Um, but we didn't hang out anymore after that. So it was just like, alright, well I own it now, but I'm not fucking playing again. Because <laughs> scary. Anyway, all the people are but veterans will find that they're in different orders or brand new rooms now. Uh, there's new dialogue to look out for and plenty of new notes, memos, and Easter eggs to discover. Especially in New Game Plus. These changes may... Okay, so wait. They actually add... But wow, okay. Oh, boy. These changes may seem odd at first to existing fans, but all in all, they allow the story to flow much more smoothly or add it, add to it altogether. Think of the remake as a continuation or a new rendition of the never-ending looping purgatory that many theorize James is trapped in. Yeah. Fuck. I can't wait. Anyway, let's see uh, the shitty ass until Dawn remake. <laughs> it might be good. Who knows? I'm just, I'm just being, being a... Being a putz. No reviews yet. That's so weird. It's out today. There's no reviews. That can't be good. I'm sorry. There's, there's no way that could be good, right? I, I just I would I would really like to know. Make sure that I'm not showing anything I shouldn't be showing. <clears throat> I probably did. It's fine though. Uh until Dawn Remake is a technical mess. What the fuck? Oh, uh, new ending. Okay, suggesting a sequel. I mean, it'd be a little weird considering it's not even made by Supermassive, right? But I guess whatever. Isn't the developers of this remake, like, aren't they shutting down? Or, or no, I think they lost a lot of the people. Eh, whatever. Uh, by the way, I'll have my Until Dawn um, original playthrough up to today sometime. So, I know no one will care, but whatever. I compiled it all together. Uh, in 1080p. I think the only other version I had was 720, but I, I compiled this one in 1080, so it's at least a little bit more watchable. Anyway, there you go. Until Dawn sucks, but uh, Silent Hill 2 Remix, great. I'm so fucking relieved, bro. You have no idea. I'm like half asleep right now, and I'm fucking like ecstatic. Uh, that At least the reviews are good. Again, again. I try not to take that as like, it definitely is good, and I'll love it, you know? Because I, I possibly... This, but it's all. It, it could be. It could be shit. Yeah, it could be. You know, I'm gonna go on. Ron, I mean, on uh, on Twitter real quick. I want to see what people are saying because you know everybody has a. Oh, here's, oh, there's a launch trailer. Okay, I'm watching that. Um, I'm shocked as the reception for when we developers of Layers of Fear and Blair Witch. Yes, yes. You're on a stream of why is it 30 fan originals I think it crash again? So I have to redo. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Until Dawn remake is 30 frames fuck is the point and whatever uh all right let's let's uh oh here we go oh, fuck. oh my god oh my god i love it i love it i love it all right anyway i love it i love it i love it anyway let's just do it sorry i'm getting over it launch trailer wait 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 hold on let's go to the top because i want to see if like like a oh, fucking spear hunter is going to be eating her words by the way it seems like, uh, oh, I guess I'll be playing it. Never mind. Oh, yeah, this mural was sick. I actually retweeted that. Um, shockingly great. There you go. That was the video I was watching, by the way. Uh, okay. Oh, I also heard, uh, um, Easy Ally said that the performance is fucking really good. I still need to watch Dan to Dan, by the way. There is a lot to talk about here, but I do want to praise the PC port's ability to meaningfully scale above the PS5. Oh, a lot of the, you know, shit. yeah, I was about to say, because a lot of PC 
uh, versions are not great. <laughs> it's it's going to be him retelling one of them. Oh my God, yes. I want to see what she said because I really like Spear Hunter. So it was very disappointing to hear that. Okay, she hasn't said anything. She probably fucking sleep. She's a normal adult. <laughs> I just, I don't, oh my God. Uh, she's waiting for him. Uh, all right. 22 hours. I keep hearing it's really long too, which is kind of disappointing in a way because, you know, I want it to be only 20 minutes long because it's going to be fucking terrifying. <laughs> It's shorter than Silent Revelation. <laughs> I want it to be short because uh, I'm scared. <laughs> no, it's only it's only disappointing because like, no, it's not disappointing. Anyway, there you go. That is that. Silent Two remake is fucking great, and I I am ecstatic to know that because I was so worried, and it seems like Konami picked the right people to do it. I mean, I guess I mean if like I guess like if Naughty Dog did it, then you know, but that was never gonna happen. So I guess they picked the right people. They got, had everybody there too, you know, old creators, you know, and stuff just to make sure everything was good. And it seems like it fucking worked out, man. I can't, I, I'm, I, I can't wait to play it and then while playing it, not want to play it because it's going to be terrifying. Anyway, that's it. This is a long first review. This might be one of my longest ones, but yeah. Anyway, that's it. Bye.